when she was saying this is the place where they prepare the plates for printing, where they do the acid, they have the baths, the different acid baths, and that. And, uh, well, this is an example of a matrix of linocut. A matrix of, yeah, of a, a linocut. So it's a, it's a, uh, this one is a PVC plate. Yeah. And then you use the, the gauze to take off everything that will be white. And then you, with a roll, you put ink in the surface. And then you go with a matrix to the press. You put the paper, that is a special paper for paint makers. And then with the press, you, you, uh, you have the print. Mm -hmm. So the, the result is, of course, the opposite. You have to think very hard. When you are <laughs> so the the students we have, he, we we are teaching here, are from the high school. The, um, more or, or less is um, a group, very short group of students that they are interested to learn um, art. But here it's not so easy to go to school because art school is more or less about 20 or 25 uh, students each year. In Guadalajara? In, in Havana, in the whole Havana. Wow. Oh, it's San Alejandro yeah. Art School. Wow. At that level, at that level, there's also, San Alejandro is the oldest art school in the Americas. It was started by a French man. I, in que año? In 1800 algo, San Alejandro, no? 15. 1815, and so it functions now kind of like as a, as a secondary school, like a um, like a high school would be equivalent to our high school, and so the the available spaces are very limited. After that, there's the possibility of going to the the National Art School, which is the ISA Instituto Nacional de Arte, and that's more at the college level, and you can study their music, you can study the visual arts, um, performing arts as well. So it's not so easy to go there to study, and uh, these are students who wanted to go there, but they couldn't, and now we are trying to teach for free. So mm -hmm. Yeah, so they teach for free. They, uh, Janet and Norberto provide all of the materials, all of the inks, the paper, and uh, you know their, their oh, time as well. We start with this exercise that is with uh, cut, cut, cut paper, paper cut. Paper, paper cut, cut, yeah. 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 They started oh, with that great. exercise, yeah. so they could see. They could see what happened when you take off. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, oh, and this is the, so yeah, the first exercise yeah. to, to see uh, He what should happened. bring this so people can see how it's cut out. It's really yeah. amazing. Oh, and, and this one is, is what mm -hmm. some student, uh, 12 years old. The, the student oh, was 12. Oh, my God. He never came again. Uh, he was here about three months, and then he never came again. And oh. now I know he's playing soccer. No. Oh. <laughs> he's got talent. Yeah. Yes. Mm. What a shame. It's a, this is another girl. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah. my, they're beautiful. And this is yeah. another tune that is... Wow. Oh, this is wow. different. Yeah. This is different because he knows, uh, he, he takes lessons for yeah. draw, yeah. Yeah. but he never takes lessons for print. So he starts with us, but he knows how to draw. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Wow. wow. That's yeah. amazing. And this is another girl. Oh, oh, this is the same student wow. yeah. that I, I That's showed great. you. <coughs> <coughs> and yeah, is, they're from Guanabo, this wow. area. This is a, a, a neighbor we have that it is now studying design. Mm. Yeah, he spent here two years with us. And now he's done. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, I'm really happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's oh. the same, oh. same students. Oh, oh. oh. Wow. 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 And then they start doing the lino cut. Wow. Ah. <laughs> wow. Yes, it is not easy because they 
they need to understand what happened and mm -hmm. how they could do, yeah. you know, different uh, mm -hmm. textures with the goats. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. So Janet and Norberto were Tama. art professors in Havana, but since they moved to Guanabo, it's a little bit far from them, and mm -hmm. plus, you know, they have a little girl. So they do, this for them is also, I mean, they love to teach, and they love to, to teach mm -hmm. art. So this so is a great fulfillment. Here. They teach here yeah. in the workshop. Right, so are these lithographs, prints? What it's a linocut. Linocut. It's like they showed you. Yeah. The same yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's like linoleum. And Janet, how often do the students come? It, it, it's uh, oh. only once in a week. Once, once a week. week. Yeah. Because yeah. they have to study uh, yeah, yeah. in the high school to, to take uh, the um, La prueba the exam. exam. Okay. Yeah, their exams, like entry yeah. exams and yeah. things for, for college. Mm, this is the student that, that, is. that is now in design. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. But it's they only do it's one? The they, do a, eh? they do an addition? Uh, no. Yeah. 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 No, I have a primer and three quarters because the paper is not going to go. So, yeah. Oh. Sunrise. Yes. Yeah, because I'm going to go Tree. Uh -huh. It is. Oh, it is a female tree. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's quite lovely. Wow. The which one? So this, this is the same technique, mm -hmm. but I use it. This is a work for an exhibition I did, and the name was the title was "Floating Population," mm. and was talking about Guanabo mm. as a theater. Mm. Where you could see people, different kind of people, goats and back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I use uh, this, the same technique of linocut, but not for print. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I use it, uh, you know, to put the color inside the holes, mm -hmm. and then I roll the, the uh, black ink in the surface, mm -hmm. and the result is between print and paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because usually you see the print, Mm -hmm. But you never know what is behind the print. Yeah. Where it came from, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's very nice because with the gauge, you could draw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I print this, you will see only these black mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. will be white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting what is there with the gauge. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's different than the paints because you know, the paint is not this real texture, it's different. Mm -hmm. The paint is to add materials, and this is the opposite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you know, the print is, is always to do an addition, mm -hmm. and this is it's like a paint, it's only one. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's between print and paint. Yeah. And from this same exhibition, I have more samples there. So maybe some people can move all the way this way. And uh Yes, yes, you could touch, of course. Yeah, you could touch. Yeah, she touched all the way first. No, 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 it's okay. She wants with her. Some of you can stay over here also, huh? It's nice. Like in this area here. Um linoleum. Yes. Well, this is part of oh, this. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got it's a little small. Clothing population. Aww. And you know, different kind of characters and situations. Mm. What a statement. You did those? You did those? Mm -hmm. Yes. Really? It's, a, well, it's part of this exhibition. Oh. <coughs> and this is the same thing with PVC. I, I recite this PVC plate mm. because. Well, here is it's hard to find supplies, mm -hmm. so it's, we we always are trying to recycle things. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So this place, BBC place, is using for advertisement outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, when they finish, for example, a fair, I, I buy some of this and I recite it and I use it to do my work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I will show you now some different techniques. So it's a different technique. So where the color is, it's opposite. It's not on the raised surfaces, but it's in the crevices. So it's, a, it's opposite from a relief print, which would be the PVC or a woodcut or a lino cut. Exactly. We, you have a plate? I'll, I'll, she'll show you a metal plate. Like this one, for example. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, you draw the lines. You put the, they are a varnish, you draw a line, the line with a fry point, and then you put in the acid, and this is just for the lines, and then for the grays and different procedures, and at the end, when everything is ready, you put ink there, and you clean very well the surface, and the ink is in the hole that uh, the acid is. Uh -huh. Then you put in the in the in the press, you put the paper and you roll, and then you have the result. So in this case, I have one plate for colors and the other for black. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is part of a theory that is talking about how to practice sports in public places. So it's called Sound Body, Sound Mind, and the idea is the Cuban government tries to promote the idea of playing sports and sound body, but there are no public places uh -huh. to play sports. So this is a take on, well, you want us to play sports, so let's find where we can play sports. And it talks about how the sound mind of the Cuban also is innovative as Maritza was saying yesterday, to find alternative areas to play sports. I don't know if on the way here you notice mm -hmm. these lamps True. along the... Right. So this would be gymnastics, this would be basketball, which of course is our national hero, mm -hmm. Jose Martí, and this would be like a, equestrian jumping. Yeah. What, what Funny. numbers are... So this is... More 15 than that one, 315. Why I say score. It's the score. Oh, it's 2 to 15. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. 3 to 15. <coughs> and these, as I said, they're very small additions. It's addition of 10 for each of these. There's a couple more sports in the series as well. What was the uh, sports stadium that we passed on the uh, So that stadium was b uh, made for the Pan American Games, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And uh, but it's it's not used for um, like it's recreational sports. Yes, it's just for the national team of you know soccer. Atletismo. Okay. For uh, um, like track and field. Uh -huh. It's for the uh -huh. national team of track and field. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you know, like in the U.S., we're used to all these you know community centers and mm -hmm. after school programs for kids, and you know the the cities and the towns have all these uh, extended yeah. And here, that's it's not the same. <laughs> so this is a take on, as you know, about 10 years ago, the government started giving licenses so people could have small businesses, right? And so um, this is like showing you the difficulties, even this is called your own business, entrepreneurship. And so in Spanish they call cuenta propistas, that means they're working for themselves. But it shows some of the difficulties also that you can f that you find in this initiative, right? So Jeanette's work is all about is a play on daily life and in, in the quotidian things that you, you would find in, in people that you see. So it, you can see also all the very intricate detail. This is also a, a an etching, a metal etching. So she etched that on in two a metal plates. In two plates. 
-hmm. And it's uh, when, you know, when you start this kind of license, all the family uh, business uh, was really hard. So this is talking about this. So, um, I think it's an appropriate question, but it seems like some of your art is uh, obviously a criticism of the government and lack of things maybe that people have. Yes, is there any censorship on that? Are you free to express ideas about that? Well, yes, of course. But it's, I prefer to think that it's not sadly against the government, it's, it's more talking about the society. Because we, we are, you know, a poor country and we have a lot of problems. So maybe some of them are because of the government, but some of them not. So I'm just talking about society. Okay, Post-aristocracy. It's called the post-Havana aristocracy. And with regards to further on the, on the point of the censorship, it's artists are, are free to express. Uh, more so, I would say, that, than journalists. Hmm. Yeah. No? And this, this uh, work is in three plates, two for the colors and one, one for black ink. And as you could see, all the details are, uh, came from the old Havana, uh, um, you know, with the streets. Yeah. You could see all these things who, uh, who came from the colonial architecture, that it remains there. And the patterns, the motifs, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is, it's talking about the new uh, aristocracy, new people who have, now they have money, and now they are, they are try to look like, you know, Como se dice burgueses? Bourgeois. <laughs> it's the new aristocracy, the bourgeois. This is a very old thing that still we have in the street to uh, sharpen a knife, knife and, and scissors. She's getting so it to sharp. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it, it's a joke that's about very, this. Yeah, oh, that's right. Very, yeah, very fine like, yeah. Pick or a fine mannequin. <laughs> yes. This is also a very beautiful piece that was in the mm. show. Wow. Oh. Oh. Isn't that oh, magnificent? Oh, oh. It's called Things Continue. Like oh. things move on, things continue. Even though you're faced with challenges mm. in life, things continue as normal. And it also talks about public and private spaces in Cuba, how many times public spaces you're doing, you know, private things, and, and I think the phone is also fabulous, because mm -hmm. when do you ever see these phones anymore, and it is a rotary, rotary, rotary dial. dial, yeah, a rotary dial, can you see that one? Okay. Yes, it's, well, it's talking about communication, you know, it's, you could disconnect, or you could connect, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as you like, but it's, is still is, is connected. So when I did this work, uh, we were living with my sister that they were separate from her husband, mm -hmm. and it was very sad because my my uh, my sister was with this baby, mm. and it's, now they are together. So it's it's uh, nice. It was, you know, disconnect, connect, but nevertheless things go on. You know, yeah. she still has to. Mm. And in, the, in this case, I use uh, two different techniques. This is colography, that is another technique. That uh -huh. is it's like a um, cardboard, mm -hmm. where you put some uh, acrylic paste, mm -hmm. and then you print, and this part is etching. Mm -hmm. It's great texture. And it's yeah. the texture in this colography is always mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. And it was perfect for this, uh, you know, like public, uh, public uh, walls. Where was your show? Uh, yeah. It was at the Multicultural Arts Center in Cambridge. Um, oh. I believe that anyone that said they wanted to be on the mailing list got information on the show. <laughs> so that's a truly... It's an edition of 10 that did sell at the show, a private collector. 
bought this piece. Mm -hmm. And this Steven. is oh, sorry. like a self portrait. No? It's another technique. <laughs> it's a silk screen. Yeah, it's a, a silk screen, and silk screens allow for very vibrant, crisp wow. colors. Um, well, this this work is part of the serial floating population, mm -hmm. and this is a a world that is talking about the the tourists that came to Cuba, but they they are they are not looking to the people. They are just going maybe to drink some rum, mm -hmm. but they are not interested to have a relation with the people. Can you uh, it's not any of the maps because I can't. Yeah. Can you hold any of this? Oh, okay. So yeah. she's not referring to, of course, us. No. <laughs> 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 Strange tour. But there's a lot of people, you know, Europeans, Canadian, that come to Cuba and they come to the beaches. I mean, you go to mm -hmm. these resorts in Varadero, and they're all inclusive. They just stay there. And that's what they do. You know, they eat there, they, they drink, everything is included, and they don't really meet the, the people, people or get to know the people. Mm -hmm. So the series is called Eyes That Don't See. Oh, wow. And it also awesome. comes from uh, this expression, eyes that don't see, heart that doesn't feel, like out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So they don't mm -hmm. really, Blackness. it's talking yeah. about how they don't really relate if the mm -hmm. eyes don't see, out of sight, out of mind, even though they're here, they're not yeah. And it's, it's not only for Cuban. Of course, it's everywhere when you have a yeah, tourist place, it's that's like true. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sure. What a commentary on yeah. society as a whole. That's yeah. yeah, and that's awesome. yeah, and that's what I think her work really I that's talks about. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I use this, you know, I use this color and this kind of row as a pop art. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Do you know, like a yeah. fashion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Haiku. Yeah. And this is her latest work, um, which are called haikus. Oh, You're familiar yes. with the Japanese yeah. haikus? Yeah. Yeah. There are three lines, right? Mm -hmm. And so these are uh, haikus that Jeanette has done on, th it's the same work of art, but she's done them in three different plates. This is called Haiku of the Telecommunication. And it's so, okay, so this antenna is still very common in Cuba. Most people get their reception through this antenna. So when the doves come on the antenna, you can't see the TV, you get blurred. And so this is the doves getting ready to leave, and this is when the doves are gone, then the reception is on again. <laughs> and uh, and it's well, it's talking about communication with the nature. With and nature, uh, yeah. You know, they 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 have a perfect communication between them. The doves. And oh, our doves. communication is not so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent. And the in like you know the doves, you know, you see one arrive, the other one, and they all leave in flock, right? Yes, and. Uh, it's, well, this haiku is a different way to talk about my everyday life. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I think it's more, uh, maybe it's a little more deep, but mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and this is what I saw from my window, oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. So, it, yes, it's part of my view of everyday. Okay. This is a Yagruma leaf that is a very common here and very special too. Yagruma. And, and it's 
the, the title of the haiku is Haiku of Polarity. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this leaf is white in one side and black inside. And it's concave. It's also concave and mm -hmm. convex. Mm -hmm. So the opposite is there, but they are living together. Um. So it's how in the nature is everything together, it's not real, real polarity. Mm -hmm. Black and white are together, convex, concave and convex are together. Mm -hmm. So it's talking about this minute that the, when the wind comes and turns the leaf, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you said there are special leaves. Why? Yes, Jagruma is the name. It's, uh, it's, it's, very, it's, it's, it's not common to find uh, okay. everywhere. It, it is not common or it is common? In Cuba it's common, but not anywhere. And it's, I actually have one. When we go to Fooster, I've seen the Yaruma leaves there. They're about, you know, this big and then with the stick. I brought one home and it's still, I mean, it's, you, it's still lasting, it's not rotting or anything, you know, it's still like that silvery white on one side and the and dark it, on the inside. And sometimes the people in the Afro-Cuban religion use this leaf, I, I, I think, to be lucky or something. Like for blessings. And things. So this is really cute, particularly in special for dog lovers, mm -hmm. animal lovers. Mm -hmm. It's called Haiku of the Captive. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and yeah. oh, my so it God. starts out by, you know, the dog approaching the butterfly, who could be the captive, but in the end, you know, mm -hmm. who's who. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and you know, our pets that we love, mm -hmm. they are with us. Uh, but they are still, uh, they have still the wild uh, heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they, they, something is there, but at the end they are so sweet, so mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. So that's why this is the, the third. I love that. And at the same time the butterfly is always free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a real power well, to be free. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is my, my, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Ber What's your dog's name? Berna. Berna. He's 10 years old. Oh, oh. Berna. That's so Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Okay. So this is her last series that she's d uh, done. It's called the Gogo series. Was inspired from a piece that she did for the uh, collection in, in Cambridge when she came to Cambridge, and people were saying how refreshing it was to actually see, uh, you know, the male body because in art you usually see, you know, there are female faces, female body. So she was inspired by this comment and did these works. And uh, I think that they have something to come in. And um. And well, here now is uh, it, we have a public place for this kind of shows. No, I that, uh, but some years ago it was uh, censored. It was censored. It was banned to have like you know live shows of men dancing. They're called gogos, and so it moved inside houses, and it was very like underground. That's right. So to me, it's very interesting to talk about this. Yeah. And especially to to. Uh, to show this uh, way to see the the male body, like uh, mm -hmm. you know, something really nice. Mm -hmm. Because usually you find uh, woman worried bodies everywhere, mm -hmm. but it's not disgusting. male bodies, and they're really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, did those they models they pose for you here in your house? No, I have some pictures. <laughs> So there was four, as you can imagine, Harriet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, bought one of these for her collection. Todd did. Wow. Uh, Harriet bought one? Yes. And Todd is liking one also. Mm -hmm. I believe he's between one of these two. Mm -hmm. Ah, the titles. The oh, title yeah. of this one is 
divine. <laughs> you know, because the, the name of the show mm -hmm. here is, uh, ¿cómo se llama el, el divino? The, the, divine. the divine. ¿Y qué show es este? Un show que hay en el Teatro Nacional. Oh, it's at the, it's at the National. It's at the National Theater. A show. Saturdays at 11. There's the Go Go show. This is called Three Graces. You know the famous, the famous band of three words. So this is my version. Y ese se llama Go Go Heart. Go Go Heart. Oh, heart. Yeah. Okay. So, if you want to ask Janet any questions, if you want to look at anything again or ask any of the prices, please feel free to do so. And uh, we'll also move over to see Norberto's work as well. So, think about it. Yeah. Yes. Are these? This has to be. You have to have a license to to do this. Work. We, we, we are uh, very well known artists here. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you don't need. You don't need. You know. Probably no, we have no problem. Yeah, artists have actually been uh, share, doing uh, selling their work for before oh. this license, Cuenta Propistas, initiative.